and it was like they were part of the group from day one. There was no, it, it was like the synergy with this whole group was amazing. With the coaching staff, with the players, everybody like just bought in. So I really wasn't surprised at all. And I knew how good those two players are. Those guys are fantastic. Like Nick is, is unbelievable. Chris is just a floor general. So like those guys were just great additions to, to our group. You what was it like for you to watch those guys just back out on the court playing together? Oh, it's amazing. And then they actually, usually I'm sitting down and letting Coach Patino scream at them. And then tonight I got to scream at them. So, like, it was, yeah, it's off my bucket list. So. Your view of the dunk? What's that? Your view of the dunk? I did. I saw him coming down the lane, and we've seen Nick do that in practice. In fact, our first scrimmage, right, Russ? Yeah. He had a dunk against uh, coming down the lane. Guys got out of the way. And again, let me just make a point. Our guys were physically willing to take charges tonight. They were stepping in. They were doing a great job. But Nick comes flying down the lane. We've seen it. We knew he's capable of that. And then he can stretch the floor because he shoots the ball so well. He's such a great player and a great teammate. Russ will tell you, just a great teammate. Russ, was there any doubt in the final shot that you were taking that? Oh, uh, yeah, there was doubt. <laughs> uh, I told him right before I said, Russ, don't force anything. You know, just take the. You know, he's like, I got you, coach. And just, you know. Oh, there was a lot of doubt, but uh, I wanted to try and make it fun, make it loose. And uh, when I played basketball, uh, I, I played with a, a sort of rhythm in my head. And if I'm having fun, then things, good things, tend to happen. So I just try to stay positive with every shot. Were there nerves going into this? Before you knew there were going to be a good crowd, fans want to see you play again. Yeah, that was that was pretty dope. I, I did want to um, pack this place out. I, I think I told some of the TBT uh, people that you know I'm I'm pretty disappointed in all the rest of our fans that didn't show up. Like we're supposed to be the number one crowd, and you know we have all these amazing um, fans and supporters. I want all these guys to come out next game and really pack it out. And there's a lot of former. You know, U of L guys, and there's U of L guys that are here right now. So I think it'll be dope if they come out and really blow this building up. And then um, the, the late, the late great um, Coach Crum. You know, we we gotta pack Freedom all out. We gotta do it for him. And um, this this has just been amazing. After you kind of get a taste, sorry, 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 just like getting sorry, with sorry. the fans and just uh, seeing that environment, just how much does it mean to have? And how about that shot by Russ? It was just little Russ Nicholas. <laughs> You know, I'm mean, after you get that first taste of the fans and just being able to have that experience, just how much does it mean to you now to know that you know the do it again on Thursday night. Man, that's that's amazing, and I, I do want to thank all of the fans for coming out. This was this was really dope. Um, they were so loud in the beginning, and to, to perform in front of them is, is is truly a blessing. I've had my fair share of in, injuries, so um, I know how truly special this moment is. Sharing it also with you know my, my former teammates who I've won with, and then my dad. So um, I'm just taking everything one step at a time and enjoying each um, game. Russ, a shot like that, the the explosion of the crowd like that. When's the last time you've had something like that? Has it been a minute? Because oh man, um, uh, no, nah, it was actually pretty recent. Um, well, but you know what? It wasn't because we were on the road, so they didn't like that. I've actually all my game winners has probably been on the road, but um, my home game winner. This is, this might be a first. Payne is used to making game winners at home, though. I think I like five under his belt or something. <laughs> uh, nah. Two layups. I'm just I'm just here to. Pass the ball to Russ. <laughs> That's what my job is. What was it like for you, Peyton, to step out on the court and you can see the energy during the intros and starting lineups? Just what was it like to have that going on? It was amazing. I mean, that's what Louisville basketball is about. That's what this city is about. You saw the energy. You saw how it pushed us to get to that extra gear. I mean, the. Kyle missed a fast break three, but you could just feel, feel the, yeah, the, yeah. the roof about to come off with the fans. So it was just amazing that the fans came out and supported us like that. I mean, come on, like, you know, we're, we're 10 years removed. <laughs> and, uh, for them to even come back out here for, you know, this type of tournament, was it was pretty amazing. It just, it just really shows that Louisville is a, a basketball state. You know? Louisville is a basketball city, and they love their basketball, so. What is it, what is it like? you know, for a game like this, to have a game like this, in light of what Louisville basketball has been through over the past year or so? It's been amazing. Uh, you know, and, and I'm glad that the players were able to come today. You saw them on the baseline, and I'm glad they got to see yeah. the – and that was just a snippet. You know, that's – I think we're 6,000 
fans or something around there. Six, seven thousand. I, 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 I mean, it was it was a lot of fans, but look, I tell them all the time. That's what that's what you guys can be playing in front of. I mean, they came out and swore us. Like I said, we've been ten years removed. Ten years removed. You know, so in light of that, you know, the fans are still hungry for basketball. They're hungry to watch, you know, good basketball. Just go out there, compete, leave it all out on the court. That's all they can ask from you. And you know, they they just want to see that. Like, let me let me piggyback off that a little bit. The uh, the choreography too on on our, our, our pressing sequence. You know, I, that made me feel really happy. Like, I don't know, I don't know about me, I don't know about you, it was you too? Yeah, 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 I mean, we got the track, with, uh, it was Diddy, Chris, Chris yeah, Dow. Yeah, yeah. He, he's played at Bellarmine. He, he grew up here in Louisville and he saw that right away. He watched me and Russ all the time. So <laughs> he jumped right on that and you could just feel yeah, the right. electricity from the fans. Like it was, it was pretty amazing to even get out there. And I mean, you saw the jitters. We couldn't make a shot to save our lives at the beginning, but towards the end, we calmed down, the fans, Stay with us the whole time, and it was a pretty amazing night. I mean, we were two for 16 from the three-point line in the first half. Have a seven-point lead with one turnover. And I, I, I can tell you this, every single day, playing hard's a talent. And that's a huge part. To your point about the, these guys just play so hard. Playing hard's a talent. You can overcome shooting. You can overcome the other stuff because these guys just play so hard. I will say this. Um, I think I'll probably get a call from... Coach P after that <laughs> after that last turnover. And I, you know what? And I shouldn't have played the clock. I just threw it just to see what was going to go happen. But With the Kyle play? yeah, I have one. <laughs> that was my one turnover, and I just know he's like, Why? "You son, you did that turnover." <laughs> wow. It was a great play draw. I say that. Thank you very much. <laughs> just poorly executed. You made enough plays, man. Yeah. Just. Biggs, again, I, I'm sorry for interrupting, but... Can you grab the mic when you're talking? Sure. <laughs> Just the bigs run the floor when these guys have the ball. When Peyton has the ball, bigs run the floor because they know they're going to get it. Guys run the floor. Watch how hard everybody, the wings, the bigs, because he's going to make the right play. He hit guys in transition, whether it was Ch on, uh, on the Waku and Nick for, for dunks, hit guys uh, on the wings. Guys run hard because they know they're going to get the ball from a playmaker and a leader like Peyton. You guys have gotten known as a team that would boom people during your time at Louisville. Um, it was a close game. Then you guys had that 10-0 run. Did, did you sense that boom happening? Honestly, we were just trying to go out there. And, you know, it's so funny with this Elam ending. <laughs> you, yeah. you can't, like, go out there and play. Because you saw the, the fourth quarter, they came out and got two quick buckets. And it's like, all right, you know, usually you can, all right, play with the clock, play the time. But the Elam ending, is like, no, you got to keep playing. Good thing I don't play with the clock. Yeah, <laughs> I just saw. I don't have a clock. Maybe. You scored the ball, I think. Yeah, I think so. He, he can't let three. Out the okay. box. <laughs> you know, but um, you know what we kind of been known for is wearing teams down. Uh, historically, I wouldn't say now. But historically, we've been known for wearing teams down and being better conditioned at the end. And I think you know with the guys, the depth of this team. Uh, shout out to you know Chris Dow, Nick Mayo, uh, Omar. Dylan, all the, a lot of guys who don't play for U of L that came in here, suited up with us, was out there playing hard. I mean, it was exciting to see that they just fit right into the chemistry. I mean, Wayne didn't play the whole first half and came in the second half and had a huge three mm -hmm. during that run. So it, it's just amazing that guys are still able to kind of feed off each other and feed off the energy. And uh, it was a, definitely a special night. Is there a part of, uh, for, for you two especially, where you thought maybe during the game, or, or maybe you'll think about this after the game, where, man, I didn't, I didn't think we were ever going to have this time together again like this, with, with the energy. Like all the time. Yeah, all the time. It's, it's, you know, during the practices, just getting guys back on the court together was really amazing. You know, just having that camaraderie, going out to eat or hanging out at the practice facility, just telling old stories was has been really amazing for not only myself, but I, I know Russ, too, just – just being back around each other, um, you know, there's guys I haven't talked to in years, but when we see each other, it's not like never we skip the beat. And uh, to be able to play, and I think, and I'll speak for myself, I know Russ too, but being able to play in front of the Louisville fans again is, you know, every former player's dream. You know, being a professional, you don't really get a chance to play in front of, you know, come back and play in front of your college fans, your family. So this was pretty special for, especially for guys like Russ and I who play over in Europe or China. It's it's good to 
be back around family. I mean, you guys saw Russ with his father out there, you know, celebrating. It's it feels good, you know, be back home around friends and family. So, hey, you mentioned having you mentioned having us in jitters. Um, I'm wondering if you could take me through that. Like, was it you know when you got here to the arena you were doing that, and then like what moment did you see that flip and you just felt? Honestly, it was we had a walk through the other day, just being back in Freedom Hall. Uh, you know, everyone. I'm not that old, but I was old enough that I played in Freedom Hall. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it was just cool to be back here. And then when you're out there and you start seeing those red shirts pop up in those seats, you start you hearing the cards chant, you start seeing the L up. Like, it, it was pretty it was pretty amazing to, you know, relive those those times. You know, and, I, and like I said, playing in front of the U of L guys, who I, I see almost every day, seeing those guys, seeing the fans wearing number three jerseys and kids that – they took pictures of me 10 years ago, now way taller than I am. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was uh, pretty cool. <laughs> that mayo dog, this woman's house for you of it. That's what he do. <laughs> I told, I told, I told Kyle, really he, it, like, Kyle wish he still had that. He had the fast break opportunity, but man. Nick, Nick showed him up. But yeah, was, facts. I mean, that just shows like the talent, you know, that this team has acquired and put together. And everyone was super happy for him. Like everybody, you know, play together, and I think that's what's special about the team and the team that they put together. Everybody's just happy for each other. There's not a selfish soul on the team. Everybody wants everybody to succeed. And I mean, Nick didn't even go to Louisville, but the fans erupted like he was one of their own. And I mean, hats off to Nick. I mean, that's good for him to show, you know, the fans that he's one of us, and they're gonna love him for that. I mean, it's gonna be all on social media, it's gonna be all on your pages. I mean, it's a hell of a play. He definitely gonna be training in Asia. <laughs> he be dogging them in Asia. Oh, wow. <laughs> For real. Russ, are you passing out the bourbon tonight in celebration? You know what? Uh, first water, and then maybe uh, maybe I'll have a nightcap at the house. But uh, I like uh, I like the you know I like to separate uh, the basketball um, from the bourbon. So uh, all I can say is. Um, I hope people enjoy it. You know, I hope people enjoy the bourbon, but um, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go.